वेलकम टू ग्यास क्लासेस फॉर मैथमेटिक्स आज हम लोग क्लास इलेवन स्ट्रेट लाइन पार्ट नंबर सिक्स करेंगे चलो देखते हैं इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑफ स्ट्रेट लाइन सो दिस इज क्लास इलेवन स्ट्रेट लाइन पार्ट सिक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर फर्स्ट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इक्वेशन ऑफ लाइन इज थ्री एक्स माइनस फोर वाई पहले टेन इक्वल टू जीरो फाइन इट स्लो एंड सेकेंड पार्ट एक्स एंड वाई इंटरसेप्ट सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एंड बेसिक क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो सो सी हाउ कैन बी सोल्व दिस क्वेश्चन वेरी इजिली सो दिस इज इक्वेशन ऑफ लाइन इज गिवेन वी हैव टू फाइन स्लो एंड एक्स एंड वाई इंटरसेप्ट So you know equation of line is slope इंटर आप जानते हो equation of line slope intercept form में क्या है y equal to mx एक्स प्लस सी राइट वेयर एम इज द स्लोप एंड सी इज द एक्स इंटरसेप्ट सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन थ्री एक्स माइनस फोर वाई प्लस टेन इक्वल टू जीरो सो चेन दिस इक्वेशन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ दिस सो वी कैन राइट दिस इक्वेशन थ्री एक्स माइनस फोर वाई प्लस टेन इक्वल टू जीरो सो वेन वी टेक दिस इज फोर वाई सो फोर वाई इक्वल टू वॉट थ्री एक्स प्लस टेन सो वाई इक्वल टू वॉट दिस इज थ्री एक्स थ्री बाई फोर प्लस टेन बाई थ्री सो नाउ दिस इज वाई इक्वल टू थ्री एक्स बाई फोर प्लस टेन बाई so now this is in the form of y equal to mx plus c so here m is what 3 by 4 so first part of this equation will be what we have to find slope so slope m equal to what 3 by 4 this is my correct answer that is slope is 3 by 4 then the next part is what x and y intersect so you know from this also you can find x intercept is 10 by 3 or you can say the equation of line given when you want to find x intercept then put y equal to 0 if you want y intercept then put x equal to 0 so here put y equal to 0 when we put y equal to 0 then this equation when we put y equal to 0 then you will get 3x equal to what minus 10. Then x equal to what minus 10 by 3. So this is minus 10 by 3. So here you can write 3y equal to 0. So this equation is 3x minus 4y plus 10 equal to 0. So this is the equation 3x equal to what that th y equal to 0. Then you will get 3x equal to minus 10. So this is three x equal to minus ten. So x equal to what minus ten by three. So x intercept will be what x intercept will be minus ten by three. In the same way, you can put put x equal to zero. When you will put x equal to zero in the equation, you will get y intercept. So this is minus four y because this is x equal to zero. So this term will be zero. So minus four y equal to minus ten. So y equal to what? That is ten by four. Ten by four means five by two. So y intercept will be what? Five by two and x intercept will be what? Minus ten by three. So this is the equation three x minus four y plus ten equal to zero. So we can find four y equal to three x plus ten. So four y equal to what three x plus ten. So y equal to what three x by four plus ten by three. Three ten by four. This is ten by four. So here slope n equal to what three by four. Now we have to find x intercept or y intercept. So when we go find x intercept. Then x intercept is what? For x intercept, put y equal to zero. So x intercept y equal to zero. So you will get three x equal to minus ten. So x equal to minus ten by three. And when we put x equal to zero in this equation, then you will get minus four y equal to what? Minus ten. So this is what y equal to five by two. So this is y equal to five by two, and this is x equal to Minus ten by three. 
So in this way we can find x intercept and y intercept, right? So this is the first question. Now see the next question. Answer second. Second question is reduce the equation three root three x plus y minus eight equal to zero into a normal form and perpendicular distance p and angle omega. So you know equation of the line in normal form. Equation of the line normal form what? That is x cos omega plus y sin omega equal to p where p is the perpendicular distance and omega is the angle. So given equation is what? This is root 3x plus y minus 8 equal to 0. So any equation is given if you want to change this equation in the normal form. Then divide the divide the equation by divide the equation by coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square root under. So root 3 square is 3, a 1 square is 1. So 3 plus 1, 4. 4 root is what? 2. So just divide this equation by 2. When we will divide this equation by 2, we will get root 3 by 2x plus y by 2 and minus 8 by 2 equal to 0. Now you know that is x cos omega. So cos 30 degrees what? Root 3 by 2. And sine 30 degrees what? Half. So we can write x cos 30 degree plus y sine 30 degree. And this is 2, 4, 8. So this is equal to 4. So now this is the equation x cos 30 degree y sine 30 degree equal to 4. When we compare this equation to this equation, we will get omega equal to what? 30 degree p equal to 4. So perpendicular distance p equal to 4 and angle omega equal to what? 30 degree. This is the right answer. So what is the important point? Any equation is given just like root 3 plus x plus y minus 8 equal to 0. We have to change this number in the normal form. So we know equation of line the normal form is x cos omega y sin omega equal to p. So when any equation is given, just divide the equation by root under coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square. So here coefficient of x is root 3, coefficient of y is 1. So root 3 square 3 and y square coefficient y is 1, so 1 square 1. So 3 plus 1, 4, 4 root is 2. So divide this equation by 2. So root 3x by 2x, y by 2 minus 8 by 2 equal to 0. Now you know this is coefficient of x, so form it is x cos omega. So we can write root 3 as a cos 30 degree and half as a sine 30 degree. So this is x cos 30 plus y sine 30 equal to 4. So our correct answer is what? P perpendicular distance is 4 and theta equal to omega equal to what? 30 degree. Now you see the question number third. So this is the question number third. Find the angle between the line y minus root 3x minus 5 equal to 0 and root 3y minus x plus 6 equal to 0. So when two lines are given, we have to find angle between these two lines. So you know if angle between two lines is theta, then our formula is what? That is 10 theta equal to magnitude of slope of second line minus slope of one line and divided by 1 plus slope of one line multiply slope of second line. So 10 theta equal to what? M2 minus M1 divided by 1 plus M1 M2. M2 is what? Slope of the second line. M1 is what? Slope of the first line. So first you find the slope of first line and second line. So for you know finding the slope, first you find this equation in the normal form, okay? So y equal to mx plus c4. So from, from equation number, from, from equation 1, you can say this equation 1 or you can say direct from y minus root 3x minus 5 equal to 0. 
so we can write y equal to what root 3x plus 5 so this is m1 equal to what root 3 in the same way second equation is given so from second equation is what root 3 root 3y minus x plus 6 equal to 0 so y equal to what this is minus this minus go right side plus so this is 1 by root 3x minus 6y root 3 this is what this y equal to this minus x go right then it become positive and this 6 negative so divided by root 3 so this is 1 by root 3x minus 6 by root 3 so slope of this line that is m2 is what 1 by root 3 now put this value in the first equation so you will get that is 10 theta equal to mod of m2 minus m1 so this is 1 by root 3 minus root 3 and divided by 1 plus m1 m2 that is root 3 multiply 1 by root 3 now what will be the answer if you solve this number 1 by root 3 so root 3 to 3 1 minus 3 that is minus 2 so this is minus 2 here this cancels so 1 plus 1 2 and this is root 3 so this is what 2 root 3 this is the mod so this cancel you will get only 1 by root 3 so you can write 1 by root 3 means what that is 10 30 degree so 10 theta 10 30 degree so theta equal to what 30 degree so our correct answer angle between two line is what 30 degree this is the correct answer so again you listen find the angle between the line y minus root 3x minus 5 0 and root 3 y minus x plus 6 0 so when any two equation is given we have to find angle between the two line then first you find slope of the first line m1 and slope of the second line m2 how can we find slope first you find a free the y of the equation so y minus root 3x minus 5 equal to 0 so y equal to what root 3x plus 5 so this is y equal to root 3x plus 5 so coefficient of x is slope 1 so the m1 is root 3 in the same way for the second question this second equation root 3y minus x plus 6 0 again you free the y so root 3y equal to what x minus 6 so x minus 6 so divided only we have to find y so divided by root 3 so 1 by root 3x minus 6 by root 3 now this is the slope 2 so now we find we have already found slope 1 slope 2 then apply the formula equation for tan theta m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 m2 to give 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 means 10 by 30 so 10 theta 10 by 30 so our angle theta is 30 degree carried answer now see the last question that is the fourth question the fourth question is what find the equation so this is to find the equation of line perpendicular to this line and passing through the point so here equation is given and passing point is given we have to find equation of line perpendicular to this line so you know the perpendicular line have a what so if two lines are perpendicular then slope of their product is what minus one so we have to find perpendicular to this line so slope of this line and slope of this line will be what perpendicular that is reciprocal of each other so first you find slope of this then reciprocal of this line will be a uh, slope of this required line so you see our uh, first x minus 2y plus 3 equal to 0 so when we free the y we will get 2y equal to what that is x plus 3 so y equal to what x by 2 plus 3 by 2 so slope of this line m1 equal to what half now slope of required line suppose m2 so perpendicular so m2 into m1 equal to what minus 1 so m2 into m1 is given half so this is minus 2 this is minus 1 so slope of required line will be what minus 2 so now we have find slope of our required line and passing point is given minus 1 minus 2 so this is passing point 
passing point P equal to given minus 1 minus 2, right? So this is what? This is x1 and this is y1. So we know the equation of line is what? y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1. So here y minus y1 means what? That is minus 2. So this is minus 2 and equal to slope of the required line here m2. So this is what? Minus 2. x minus x1 is what? Minus 1. So minus minus plus. So we will get y plus 2 equal to minus 2x and minus 2. So when minus 2x came here, it is 2x plus y plus 4 equal to 0. This is the required equation of the line. So again we will listen to the question. Find equation of line perpendicular to the line x minus 2y plus 3 equal to 0 and passing through the point minus 1 minus 2. So we have to find equation perpendicular to this line and passing through this point. So the line required line is perpendicular to this line. So slope of this line and required line product will be what? Minus 1. So find the slope of this line. So free the y and get slope m1 is half. Now, suppose slope of required line is M2. So, product of slope line, this line and required line is minus 1 because they are perpendicular. So, M2 equal to what? Minus 2. Now, we have slope and the point. So, required line is what? Y minus Y1, M into X minus X1. So, Y minus Y1 is what? Minus 2. So, minus of minus 2 equal to M slope is minus 2. So minus 2 into x minus x1. So x1 is also minus 1. So minus minus plus. So y plus 2 is what? Minus 2x minus 2. So our answer in 2x plus y plus 4 equal to 0. So this is the right answer. In this way we have solved all the four questions. And these questions are very important and basic also. Okay. Thank you.